Hello, my loves, and welcome uh, to your weekly reading. This is from May 9th to the 15th. So let's get started here. Uh, we'll see which is the sign up next. And it's always the first card I'm going to take. <clears throat> so let's see who's up next. Aries. So if your sun is in Aries and anywhere that you have Aries in your chart, this is your reading. Any time you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it. But if it doesn't, then look at your other placements on your chart. You could look at your ascendant sign. Moon is about emotions. Venus is about love and finances. Some of you could look at Jupiter or Saturn and also your North Node. In the reading, feel free to swap the energies around. But most of the time, I will be talking about Aries, of course. And uh, take what's yours in the reading and let the rest go. Cross watchers and, of course, cuspers are welcome to the reading as well. So number one, <laughs> Aries number one, of course, new beginnings, hashtag Aries Nation is in the house. A leap of faith is uh, being asked for you to do and you have dolphin energy here. Okay, so um, let's see, let's get started with your reading, Aries. <clears throat> so hi, hi, Aries, how are you all doing? I hope that you're doing well. Um, how are you treating life, Aries? How are you treating life? Hashtag Harry's Nation. Make some noise <laughs> that you're in the house. Okay, I already pre-shuffled the cards beforehand. So now let's get started with your reading. We're going to start with the situation at hand. got the three of pentacles we're going to look at what is crossing you and your challenge the three of wands wow that's powerful and let's look at uh because you have number 33 but this is really good and let's look at the root of the situation oh my god the wheel of fortune amazing now Let's look at the recent past and also the current energy. Remember that the timelines are all merged into one. So uh, just keep that in mind. Five of Cups. The King of Cups. The two of swords. Hmm. Let's look at the immediate future. The tower. Let's look at what is being hidden from you. The ace of wands and in the hopes and fears. Ten of Wands. And let's look at the possible outcome here. You got two cards. You got the Lovers and the Ace of Cups. So we're going to put them right here. And underneath, which is the Five of Swords energy, which talks about the overall. So I could see right away right now is that, uh, you know, you got 55 years. So there is definitely changes coming, but... With the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Two of Swords, okay, this is an energy that you're carrying within you. So at this time, you you are releasing your healing, okay, and you're almost done here, okay, in the healing part. I feel that the light is shining through with the Five of Cups, or the Divine is coming in here because there is, like, healing that's taking place with the Five of Cups, okay? Though there was loss and grief, uh, regret, and feeling, of, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that you're questioning at this time or trying to find a silver lining on why these things happen to you. With the Five of Swords also, it's almost the same type of energy here, okay? It's like where, you know, just this, this could be how you're thinking about situations. There could be conflict within you. Uh, there could also be arguments around you. But I also feel that this is you, uh, whatever that, uh, you know, that's past. Like, this could be like a, just a, not, not, 
it's maybe not feeling negative, but just thinking negative about situation. I feel that there's like some type of release that's taking place here. You do have to make difficult choices along the way. Okay. And uh, yeah, and uh, maybe uh, there's some type of denial. Some of you could be waiting for something here. I also feel being stuck in, in the middle of a situation. Uh, but we're going to look into that, okay? So in the situation itself, you have the Three of Pentacles. So there is teamwork here and collaboration and strong foundation. What's crossing you and your challenge, okay, is the Three of Wands where uh, this is about success, travel, expansion. It could be overseas uh, opportunities. Uh, you, you're looking at life in a different way. And your ships are coming in because you do feel more optimistic. And Jupiter is coming in to bring this for you. So there's definitely change that's going to take place. And this is luck and karma. Of course, there's also something that's destined that's coming here for you. Now, in the current energy, you're also feeling in the recent past. Okay, you've been carrying this energy here. Uh, I feel that this is you, the King of Cups. Okay, in a sense that you are going to have a balance between your head and your heart. Um, this is about someone that's emotionally uh, mature and values family. Uh, if it's a if it's someone else that's coming in, King of Cups, but it could be also uh, someone here that's very practical, logical, and has a lot of wisdom. Uh, in the immediate future, you got the Tower. So yeah, there's definitely uh, something chaotic that's going to take place. The Tower is coming in to clear the energy, okay, from you from this type of energy that you all this this energy here that you're going through, okay, and it's also you. It might feel chaotic, and there might be a, like difficult change, but definitely the Tower is coming in to change something here. And what's not being shown to you is uh, the Ace of Wands. And this talks about new passion, new energy. It could be a new job for some of you or a new creative beginning. But you're going to feel inspired within you and around you. And there's going to be a lot of growth and potential here. With the Ten of Wands and the Hopes and Fears is that you've been carrying the weight on your shoulders. Okay, you have. And uh, there's stress and there's burden. And, uh, you know, so the Ten becomes a one... So something will be lifted here from you. And in the possible outcome, you have romance, you have partnership, you have choices to make. But the Ace of Cups comes in as well because there's a lot of self-love that you've been doing here, Aries, what I feel here. Okay, within yourself, you've been doing a lot of self-love and uh, releasing these emotions. For some of you, this, uh, this is on your spiritual path that's taking place about healing your heart chakra. It's about forgiveness and compassion. For some of you, it could also be new love that's coming in here for you. But the Ace of Cups for me, what signifies the Ace of Cups is abundance. So now we're going to clarify some cards and see what's going on here for you. Let's look at the Five of Swords in the overall. The Hierophant, the Four Swords, the Lovers. Now, uh, for those of you, this could be about marriage. For some of you, it could be marriage, but it doesn't have to be. But I'm putting it out there, Taurus energy. Um, I also feel this is about, like, so, like, look, from the Four, you went to the Five of Swords. From the Five, you went to the Four of Swords, which is very good because you are resting at this time. Maybe this is what you need to do. You need to rest. You need to be in your sanctuary. You need to, re you know, uh, relax, Okay and have that peaceful mind and thought. Uh, what I do feel here is that a lot of your tradition, anything like th that has to do with tradition or how you uh, saw the world or how people told you who you are, I feel something here had to uh, crumble in a situation. I don't know if you understand what I mean. It's about belief systems, you know, uh, like, how, you know, and it's about the higher power within yourself. Uh, there's a lot of knowledge here. This could be a, uh, maybe some of you are following a leader here or a spiritual leader or someone here or, or a mentor. Maybe this is who you are to people. Um, I also feel here that something is releasing from the Five of Swords, like something is releasing. And uh, you, you're going to gain clarity 100%. And with the lovers, again, you got it twice here. There will be partnerships. There will be, of course, uh, partnerships, uh, romance, and ch uh, choices that you will have to make along the way. So uh, let's look at the Three of Wands because we these two cards are the very positive. So I just also the th this card is positive too, but I want to look at the Three of Wands here in what is crossing you and your challenge.
the Queen of Cups, you got the King and Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, definitely here. You know, your heart and your mind are balanced. You're, you're coming into balance. Uh, I see here like you're very uh, compassionate, warm. You, you have a lot of kindness, your intuition. So you could be healers or counselors. Uh, you're very supportive around you here. Uh, at the same time, you're very honest. You're very independent, independent, fair, and objective along the way. And this could be about material or also love in situations. You do have some type of wish fulfillment. And like I said, I feel like you are coming into one here with the Nine of Cups. So this is about your your ships are coming in. The Three of Wands talks about manifestation. What I want to concentrate on really actually is this Five of Cups energy. Okay, so let's look at this Five of Cups. In the recent past till now in the current energy. The Four of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. The King of Swords. Um, now, again, this could be two people or you in, in general, if this is about you, okay? Um, yeah, of course, your heart chakra is not totally open at this time because the Ace of Cups comes in afterwards, right? Uh, you're leading to this Eight of Cups, but right now your heart chakra is not open up. It's not completely open at this time. You're protecting it. For us of you, if this is about finances, it talks about where uh, you are financially secure here. I do see that as well. Uh, but you're holding on to something really tightly. You're, you're holding on maybe to these emotions, right? Because it's what some sometimes whatever this emotion is, if if it's about a loss, it's hard to completely let go. And if it's about loss, that takes time. And, uh, you know, it, it's uh, it's a coping mechanism. Uh, it's, it's like you need to cope through something here, 100%, you know. Uh, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about maybe just like, are having like holding on to some emotions that you having a hard time letting go of. Uh, what I do see that that's coming in for you is the four of wands. Number eleven, eleven is very prominent here. Uh, the four of wands talks about security and uh, you know and um, strong foundation here. It talks about happiness, celebrations in the home, joy in the home. Uh, there could be buying a home, renovating a home for some of you out there as well. But this is some type of proposal that's coming in. And with the King of Swords energy, I feel that this is you also, okay? Or this could be someone else that you're dealing with, okay? But let's look at if this is you with the King of Swords. You're very, you have a lot of experience here, okay? You're very sharp in your mind. You're also, you, you reason very well. You remain objective. This is about you remaining objective in the situation. And it's also about attaining your goals. And it's also... Uh, you're, 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 you know, if you have to make a point known, you're, you're able to, when the time is right, to speak your mind. But at the same time, this talks about higher perspective. It's about seeing things from a higher perspective. With the King of Cups energy, again, here with the King of Cups here, it's about the balance between the heart and the mind, okay, that's coming in together, okay? Um, this could be you and energy as well. So let's look at this uh, King of Cups, or it could be someone around you, okay? Let's take a few cards for this King of Cups. The Ace of Swords, the World, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so it's it's your what's ending for you. What's the, the ending that's taking place here for you? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> There's a lot of fear-based energy about this. Uh, not being able to sleep, maybe having weird dreams or nightmares for some of you out there. Maybe you, you feel anxiety, um, you know, it's, uh, and the thing is that fear is an illusion and there is a breaking point. And the breaking point is that you graduated with the world card. Okay, this is about completion. Okay, there's an end of an important cycle that's ending, uh, learn lessons and coming full circle and definitely uh, success here. And from the nine, you went to the ace of swords, which is really wonderful because this is a breakthrough that's coming in for you. It's a breakthrough. New ideas. You're going to have clarity. You're going to have the truth and a lot of visions, okay? And you're going to be really focused with the Ace of Swords. Now, let's look at the Two of Swords here. you got the Seven of Wands. The, the Magician. Knight of Swords. There will be an unexpected message coming in. Someone's coming in here. 
Maybe this is why you have, you've been waiting for some type of uh, message here to come in. Uh, I feel here that, you know, uh, you are setting your boundaries and some of you need to fight for something. It feels like there's competition, but I don't know. That's what I feel. Or you need to fight for something if you really want it. Okay. But you are facing your challenges and you're over going to overcome this. With the magician, you are manifesting. Okay. So you are raising your vibration, of course. And this person is coming in. This person is very assertive. They're very direct. They're very focused. They're full of life. Okay. And they're also, they love to communicate. So there is that something, someone here that's coming in to communicate a uh, hundred percent here. Okay. So we'll leave this here. Let's look at the tower in the immediate future. Now, uh, I, as I noticed that you have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, which is one, one. You got the Magician, which is also another one. Also the 10, the 10 here, you take the zero, it's one, one. So th there's a lot of new beginnings that are taking place here for you. Plus you got the Ace of Cups. Okay, so um, you do have three aces on the ground. Let's look at the tower in the immediate future. The Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. This has to do also with your self-confidence. It has to do with your confidence, being confident and determined. And whatever it is, I, there's a lot of passion that you, you're putting a lot of work within yourself. You are working on yourself. You're very independent. There's also financial security here for you. I do see abundance. I see, also see that you are juggling at this time. You're balancing. There's a lot of financial decisions you will have to do. But I do see that this as being a good card. Okay, a, a good. It, well, the tower is coming in to bring you, uh, to bring you like um, financial security, if that's what it is. Okay, for a lot of you, and uh, it's about also about your confidence and what it is that you truly want and desire here with the Queen of Wands. Okay. Um, and you're also able to take some time off if you want to. And this is what Spirit is saying. Some of you need to just like take a day off and just look at everything around you, what you have, and maybe have a gratitude list and uh, really be happy or being grateful in, in all that, uh, what you achieved up uh, until now. Now let's look at this 10 of Wands in the hopes and fears, because you've been carrying a lot on your shoulders here. But this is like the journey. Your journey is like, there's a journey that, that's, been very hectic and um that took place here and there's an ending the knight of pentacles the knight of wands the three of cups there could be definitely someone from the past that's coming back here okay now as you're moving forward slowly here with the knight of pentacles i feel that this is you you're moving slowly you're planning ahead you're taking your time planning ahead I do feel that someone from the past is coming back, but I also see that's why there's difficult choices that you will have to make here. Um, yeah, so there there could be interference with this person. There could be third party situations with this person. Um, you know, they're very charming. They're very energetic, free spirit energy. You know, they're very straightforward. Uh, they like to travel. They like to get things done. They're adventurous. But they do have a hard time to commit, okay, in energy. So let me just take an extra card for the Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands. The Empress, the Page of Swords, the Tower. Yeah, definitely like these type of energies that come towards you. Okay, there's changes coming. That's for sure. You got the tower card again, but it, it came with the empress. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, so you will have new communication coming in. There is someone watching you on social media. Okay, so this person comes in and out of your life. Maybe they have come in and out of your life. There may be a group of your friends. Who knows? Whatever it is here, there's going to be communication taking place online here. Uh, but like I said, it's been very stressful for you in this type of situation that you are dealing with. I feel that like you are moving towards slowly. I don't feel like you're going to be accepting the situation. The tower is coming in to clear the energy. Why? This is about Venus. Okay. Um, this is about uh, love. Okay. It could be about also love and fine, like love and finances. That's, that, that's what Venus is all about. Um, this is about new opportunities. Uh, it's about being creative. Uh, 
anyways uh, there is like i said there's a lot of uh, maybe people coming in just make sure that you take like you guys choose the right whoever this person is for you if we look at the lovers because you got it twice here there is partnerships there is romance but there is choices that you will have to make and uh, there is someone here that has the true love energy okay for uh, those of you that want just don't accept someone that uh, cannot commit to you you know or that haven't committed to you or they keep coming in and out of your life you know um I feel that like there's there is definitely a message coming in here for you more than one so let's look at the lover's energy the ace of pentacles you got the four aces on the ground that's very good temperance it's about trusting your intuition trusting your gut in this situation there is someone coming in that's going to bring in stability it could be a Sagittarius for some of you Gemini I mean you know it doesn't have to be that sign okay but this is about balance this is about finding a mill away in the extremes, you know? Like you can't go from one extreme to another. There's something that you need to moderate and you have to choose carefully. And that's why the high priestess is here because you need to trust your intuition with this, okay? And let me take a few cards uh, for the Ace of Cups and you have to trust your gut. The Emperor, <laughs> the Ace of Wands. Look at this. For me, this is abundance that's coming in. Of course, it could be uh, new love for some of you too. But this is about abundance that's coming in. Okay, again, the wheel twice. Okay, this is about changes coming in for you. This is about uh, karma and uh, luck. Some, it's something destined here. Um, you know, uh, it's about like, you know, it's about taking action here. Um, it's about, uh, you know, belief, knowledge. It could be about uh, beliefs and knowledge here. It could be about... Um, you know, it's about stability, it's about protection, it's about discipline. Um, and the Ace of Wands, well, like I said, the Ace of Wands, it's new passion, new energy, new job, new person, uh, maybe a new creative outlet here for you. Um, you know, this is a, a new feeling of feeling inspired within you and around you, uh, whether this is about commitment, work, and uh, really planning ahead. And uh, there's a lot of growth and potential here that's going to take place for you. Now let's check underneath the deck. Underneath the deck, you got the Knight of Cups, uh, the Devil, and the Two of Wands. You got the Hangman. There's many options here. You got the Ace of Cups and uh, the Fool. So let's look at this. Okay, so a lot maybe a there, there's there's a, you know this could be Saturn in energy or this maybe Saturn is activated right now in your chart. But for me that with that with this card, what I feel is that you know since you know you are making plans here, you're making future planning, you're making progress, you're making decisions. Like, again, you're very determined here, okay? There is invitations that are coming in. You know, you do have invitations here, Aries, maybe, you know? Not maybe. You do have a messenger, messengers coming in for invitations and arrival. But are they good for you, okay? It could be like uh, you're, you're feeling stuck in this type of energy that you're not getting the right people that come to you. There could be some type of negativity, uh, you know, or making poor choices here. And I do feel that you've been, like, uh, in the period of waiting, in this period of the cocoon energy, um, where you sacrificed a lot here, okay? And uh, I feel that, uh, like I said, like you need to be where you need to be at this time to go through what you have to go through here for the planets to come in, for the divine to come in to give you what you need because you do have a lot of choices here, okay? And what's taking place is, again, with the Ace of Cups, like I said, could be new love, could be about spirituality. It's like forgiveness, compassion for the... For the collective uh again here it's abundant it's about abundance coming in and there is a fresh start and the beginning of a journey for you so i hope you enjoyed your reading aries and don't forget to comment like share and subscribe know that i have your back and i love you all and remember together as a collective we are one and together as a collective we are love so keep loving out there keep shining keep showing love keep doing what you'd love to do and um and together we are light so don't forget to shine that light okay and uh yeah so i'll see you next week and stay tuned for your oracle card love you bye hello loves so aries this is for you let's see what uh, which is uh which oracle card uh comes in for you from uh, may 9th to the 15th Okay, you got shadow. So let's look at it together. 
Number 40. Okay, let's look at this together. I hope you could see the card. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so the shadow says, this card indicates that di diving deep, deeper into your shadow at this time will be beneficial. It is through knowing our unconscious self that we, we, that we find the root of our blocks, perceived limitations, and wounds. It, it is also how we come to know ourselves in our total to to we cannot reach our true potential without meeting our shadow and working with the pairs, parts of ourselves that we have been told to lock away or be ashamed of. This indicates or this includes brilliant aspects of ourselves too, not just perceived flaws. The truth is your shadow is your greatest gift. So their animal totem of the week is the bat. So bats are experts at moving through the dark using echo location they are unable to see what their surroundings are but by producing high frequency sounds and listening for the echo of the ob of the objects close by they are able to get incredibly accurate idea of their environment this is much like doing shadow work we often do not understand the logic of our subconscious but we can't feel it it uh, it can be uncomfortable, like we do not have our senses, but if we trust the process the way back trust its echo location, our shadow work comes alive in unexpected and magical ways. If you are struggling with things you cannot see in their entire in their in, in, in the overall, call upon back as an ally. And your crystal that you will be needing is called the black phantom quartz. So it's called the black phantom quartz. And uh, phantom quartz crystals have imprints of themselves within the crystal. When you look at the phantom quartz, you can see triangle shadows, shadows, triangular shadows throughout the body of it. In this way, their growth is captured for one to see. This transparency in evolution makes black phantom quartz the ideal ally for doing shadow work. So call upon black phantom quartz when you need support in viewing your perceived faults as gifts as these are the potential measures of your progress. So I hope you enjoyed your oracle. I'll see you next week. Love you. Bye.